In this video, we are going to create custom Instagram feeds in our website without coding. We're generating the Instagram feed using Finn's Suite Components app and styling them in Webflow Designer just like native elements in Webflow. First, click on Apps and open the Finn's Suite Components app. Go to the Builder. Select the Instagram feed component. Here in the configuration panel, we can see the general settings. We can change the name of the component, the instance name, and the class folder. The class folder serves as the prefix that will be added to the classes for better organization. In the access token, you should add the access token of your Instagram profile. Click on this link to find the step-by-step -step documentation. We can show or hide the header, the caption, the comments count, and likes count. In the view posts on the page option, we can select whether we want to redirect users to Instagram or display the posts in a light box on the page. We can also limit the number of posts that are displayed. And change the layout from grid to slider. Let's generate our first Instagram feed. I'll select the element that I will add the component inside. I'll remove header, captions, likes, and comments to keep only a grid with the pictures. Let's click on the Create Instagram Feed button and confirm. Nice! Our Instagram feed component was generated on the page. It's important to say that all these elements are generated with custom attributes that are required to make the solution work so please do not remove them. When we created this component, we also added custom code to the project. To see this custom code, you can go to Site Settings and Custom Code. This custom code is also required to make the solution work, so please do not remove it. Let's go back to Designer. Now we can style the Insta feed however we want. I'll select the list and change the grid to five columns. And in the image, I'll add radius 0.5 rem. Let's publish our project and see the final result. Nice! Our Instagram feed is working perfectly. It also shows the content on the page when we click on the posts. Cool! Now, let's create our Instagram feed using a slider. Go to Apps and open the FinSuite Components app. Go to the Builder. Select the Instagram feed. I'll change the name to Instagram Slider and do the same for the Instance and Class folder. Done. For the slider, I'll remove the caption and keep comments and like counts. In Layout, let's select Slider. I'll add Loop. Change pagination to fraction. And sliders per view on desktop to four. We can also change tablet and mobile breakpoints if we want. Let's select the element that I will add the component inside. Click on Create Instagram Feed and confirm. Now a slider with the Instagram post was added to the page. Let's style it. You can change any style that you want. The options are endless. Our solution will use the first item as template. We can remove the other ones if we want. First, I'll select the slide. Change background to white. Radius to 0 0.5 rim. Overflow hidden. And change gap to 0, 0.0. Select the row with likes and comments. Add one rem padding. Cool, looking good. Now I'll copy this div block with the picture, name, and username and paste inside the slide. Move it above the image.
and add extra padding of one rep. This is a good example of how customizable our solution is. Let's get rid of the header and style the slider pagination in arrows. Select navigation. Align right. Remove the padding. Remove default background color. Done. Select the previous arrow. Move it closer to the next button. Change the color. Change radius. Increase padding. Select pagination. Remove 100% width. Add extra right margin. Select current fraction. Increase font size. To finish, let's bring this header inside our component. and move pagination inside the header. Everything will work if we keep the elements inside the instance wrapper that contains the instance attribute. Let's publish. Amazing, our solution is rendering the content from the Instagram profile and our slider's working. That's f***ing sweet. Fin Suite Components is always free with your .io staging domain. We will never charge you to test and build your components. When you are ready to go live, get a plan to publish to production. You are one step closer to building next level components inside your Webflow project. You can download Fin Suite Components in the Webflow Apps Marketplace, and those links are in the description below. Go to finsuite.com components to learn how we can help you succeed with Webflow.